Uh, now let us look at some of the important aspects of the old man and the sea. Now we see that right from the very beginning of this novel, uh, we confront a world in which man's isolation is the most insistent truth. Of course, Santiago's profound awareness that no man was ever alone on the sea is, uh, should be kept in mind. Similarly, it is not quite correct to say that this novel is the climax of Hemingway's long search for disengagement from the social world and total entry into the natural. Uh, thus, uh, the old man leaves society, of course, but to go out and beyond all people in the world, there is an awareness of society and of his relationship to it. Uh, these are never for long out of his thoughts. And in this end, he returns to his village where he finds it pleasant, quote, to have someone to talk to instead of speaking only to himself and to the sea, unquote. So, of course, uh, we can say that Santiago's isolation, of course, has been portrayed by Hemingway, but it has not been overemphasized. Next, uh, the next important aspect is, of course, the fact the the true direction of Hemingway's thought and art from the beginning, especially since 1937, had been a return to society not in terms of any particular social or political doctrine, but in the broad sense of human solidarity and interdependence. So, uh, as we can see that uh, the story of the old man and the sea begins 84 days after the old fisherman's last catch. The boy, Manolin, the apprentice, whom he has long regarded, quote, with confident loving eyes, unquote, has been forced by his parents to another boat which caught three good fish in the very first week. And uh, in their mutual reminiscences concerning the past, we discover that Manolin first accompanied Santiago when the former was five years old, that the boy is, quote, already a man, unquote, in his knowledge of the things of the sea and that the pupil remembers everything since he had first started going with Santiago on the latter's fishing trips. During his long ordeal with the marlin, Santiago wishes again and again for the boy's presence, as much for companionship as for assistance. Now he has only himself and the sea to talk to. Every new crisis reminds Santiago of Manolin's usefulness and worth. When his hand is cramped by the coil of rope, he wishes the boy, boy was there to rub it or later to wet the coil. As he approaches the seashore with his catch already partially uh, uh, actually consumed by the sharks, the old man meditates upon the boy's feelings during his absence. Quote, there is only the boy to worry, of course, but I am sure he would have confidence. Unquote. 